Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. In our last episode, we left off with a broken constructor blueprint. I don't know what happened, um, but three of the four on that left side of the blueprint, the lifts weren't connected. And I'm not... The only thing I can guess is that upgrading them to Mark IV from Mark III broke it somehow? Because... They were connected in such a way that I know it wasn't like I had... Because if you connect them from top to bottom, it doesn't actually connect. But you can see a gap between the shroud of both things. So I know I didn't do it that way because there would have been a visual evidence. Um, it did look correct, but these somehow weren't connected. And I, I, I'm fully willing to believe I made a mistake, but in this case, I'm putting a higher likelihood on there being some sort of bug that was causing that. It is completely possible that I just screwed up and I don't understand how I screwed up. So I'll leave room for that, but I do think it's a bug because I can't really come up with a good explanation for why it was happening. In any case, uh, we're going to bring power through here. And then I think I'll just... Connect power like that. And yeah, we're picking up right where we left off, connecting up the pipes and what will be wire to make rotors and stators, which will become motors. And then at least for now, I'm not going, I am gonna put motors onto the, am I gonna put motors on the bus though? Cause don't they just go straight to turbo motors? I really wish I knew how many, this is where not having foreknowledge of the late game tiers is rough like i'm not sure because i need smart plating for the engines right and and then do i need engines for another thing in the next phase because if so it could be worth automating smart plating and having it like on the bus but for now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna ignore it we're just gonna make the I only need 500 smart plating because obviously I'm going to summer sloop these things so I only need 500 smart plating 500 motors and whatever 15 to 75 37 50 rubber um, that is a lot of rubber I should probably start accumulating that but uh, you're saving the points what is the best thing to get I assume you mean the coupons in the awesome shop um one of the best things to get early game i mean you might want ladders depending on how you build your base that's kind of a big one um the wall outlets are a big one windows look really nice but you need quartz to build them uh and what's the other one i'm forgetting there was one that i unlocked like so freaking fast i don't even remember what it was i'd have to look in the shop that's the sink. What did I buy? There was one that, like, I needed ASAP. Uh, I mean, those are fine. Those are fine. Yeah, I mean, the wall power outlet's kind of a big one. Uh, concrete foundations look nice, but... I, oh, there is a glass roof. Okay, I'm not crazy. I just haven't bought it yet. Uh, some of those ramp... Stairs are nice. Oh, it was catwalks, I think. Catwalks. Yeah, catwalks or walkways. One of those two is pretty handy. Because that certainly changes how you can build your base. Oh, and the coffee cup. Yeah, you gotta have a coffee cup. Uh, but yeah, nothing else is too crazy important, at least. Alright, so I need to bring wire to there. Um, bu, 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 bu. where even is the wire? Anybody remember? There's quick wire. Here, here's wire. Okay. So you come down. And then we need wire up there. Oh my, this is getting real congested. Real congested. All right, we're gonna bring it to here. 
That is a straight line, yes? Yes. And then we're gonna bring that up. And I'm fully aware that the rates here are not, um... That's the right Z level? Like, we're not gonna be able to sustain the rates on all these things, but it's not gonna be long before I have the next tier of belt. And we can speed a lot of things up. And I just, I think in this game, getting things running is more important than things running at full speed for now, right? Like ultra late game, that might change. But for now, just getting things running, then I can go do an hour or two of exploration and I come back and everything's all figured out. You know, like it just doesn't need to be that high of a rate on all this stuff. <laughs> oh, you meant Twitch points. Oh, uh, I mean, it's Twitch points. You can do whatever you want with it. None of them are important. Um, all right. So then these are going to come over. Maybe that should be more like right here. Rotors. Is that clipping? Uh, it is clipping. I don't like that. So, how do we fix it though? Fix it? That's the name of the company I work for. Um, maybe it will, no, it's a little clippy. It's gonna be, no, it works. Okay, I was worried that was gonna be too steep, but it, it does work. No, but now the power wire is clipping. All right, floor power it is. When in doubt, use floor power. Powered foundation mod when? All right. Honestly, I, okay, hot take. I don't think the power connection system in this game is a good mechanic. It, it it literally it it just makes visual noise unless you go really far out of your way to make it look good they often look worse than they look good and it's just a matter of connecting everything with wires like it doesn't i don't think it adds much uh to have to connect like being able to just connect buildings to each other like the batteries can here i'll show you the batteries can daisy chain uh, and I don't see how letting buildings daisy chain would be any worse for the game. So you can connect batteries like that, and they connect to each other. And then you only need to connect one battery on the end to something. And I don't see how letting buildings daisy chain would make the game, like, that much easier. It just means you won't have to build a billion power poles everywhere. Uh, there's my hot take. Take it or leave it. Hot take it or leave it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I have nothing else to add other than that's how I feel. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna set up now motors, which come in assemblers, so blueprint, assemblers X3. I am just gonna line it up with the constructors one here. And I might, yeah, we'll do the normal spacing. Yeah, that's fine. And then, I don't, this probably isn't fine. It might be fine. Yeah, actually, that's fine. And the, the, the output goes underneath. So there you go. All right, that wasn't too bad for motors. Another thing worth mentioning, and I will mention it, is we are deprecating by all of what we're doing on this this giant factory. We're deprecating what we're doing in these two buildings. So pretty soon, I could repurpose what's going on inside of these buildings. And these could be smelting floors, and then I can remove the smelting from this factory, and I could just ship in, I could basically ship in finished ingots on these belts rather than ores. Um, and we could basically have mainly the processing into 
processing from ingot. Like, I probably should have done that already. I didn't realize how much space everything was gonna take. I mean, it's crazy how much space... Look at all this. Look at all that we're doing here. Now, granted, a lot of it's unnecessary because I'm building blueprints of, you know, eight constructors when I might have only needed four or whatever, but... This is a lot of buildings. It just looks so cool. Uh, how's power? Uh-oh. So I did do ge geothermal. I forgot to mention that to you guys. Um, I found some geothermals while I was out in the wild, so I just plopped some geothermals on them. I built a few batteries to compensate because geothermal makes kind of a wave. Um, but you'll notice whenever this orange line is bumping up against the black line, that means we're actually kicking into biofuel power. Now... Yeah, now we're using batteries. That's bad. Um... Okay. So yeah, we're using a lot more power right now than I anticipated. Probably because of this manufacturer, which I put summer sloops and shards into, so... How much power is this thing using by itself? Yeah, there's 700 megawatts. Uh, by itself when it, when it's running. We don't have enough encased beams for that, apparently. Um, but we're going to need to work on power soon. Probably should do turbo fuel. Uh, but that's kind of a pain in the butt to set up. So I'm just going to keep kicking the can down the road and I'm going to ignore it. Power grid will probably shut down, you know, all the good stuff. Oh, you know what I could do? We're so... Oh, uh, we're so close, though. So once I have the blender... I had forgotten the blender even existed. Last time I played the game, it didn't exist. Um, so that's why I forgot it existed. But uh, what we can do is... Uh, oh, these just aren't powered up. Sorry, I'm trying to think and build a factory at the same time and talk. Too many things. What I plan to do is use the blender to make the diluted fuel build, and then we can get like at least twice as much power from the crude oil power plant we have going on, if not more. I forget what the ratio is. So right now I'm making fuel from crude oil, which is a three to two ratio. If you instead do is it residual fuel? No, it's diluted... ...packaged fuel. Yeah, gets you double whatever you have heavy oil residue. And then there's the alternate for just making heavy oil residue. This one. So you get three to four to eight. So you go from three to two to three to eight. You quadruple the fuel output of a single crude oil. Obviously, there's some extra steps involved, but there's less steps involved when you have the blender, right? Because without the blender, you need to do the packaged fuel and packaged water. So what you need to do is you have to package the water, and then that basically changes what's in the package to fuel. So it's, it's net neutral for packages. And then you have to unpackage the fuel to then use it in your fuel uh, generators. But there's a version of this in the blender, which just uses the heavy oil residue and fluid water rather than packaged water. And then it makes fluid fuel. So I really need the blender to be able to do this without having to have huge sets of packaging and unpackaging because we have to package the water and then unpackage the fuel. And then we sent those packages back to packaging water so you don't you don't have to produce packages anywhere in the loop you just have to have a set of packages to start out um but i'd much rather not do any of that so instead we're going to ignore that for now we're going to wait till we get to blenders which is not that far into the future in fact why don't i over here set up our two manufacturers that are going to be producing the these final parts here. One for each is probably enough, right? One a minute certainly is enough. 
because um, that's really five a minute. And for this one, um, five a minute would be a hundred minutes. That's not too bad. Okay. Now, we are gonna need smart plating. Did I keep any? I don't remember if I kept any. I might need to make more. Unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, it's pretty easy to make. And I only need five to five. So I, I only need 500 smart plating. So that means I only need 500 reinforced plates and 500 rotors. That is not bad at all. Um, so... That's really easy. So there's the smart plating. Um, let's see. I'm mostly doing storage containers for these inputs. Motors, rubber, both come from a storage container. Automated wiring is the issue here. For this one. So I am going to need another assembler. Make automated wiring. That's two and a half per. How is that two and a half per? Oh, because I'm making double. It's really five to one normally. So, so I need 250 automated wiring. That's still not very much, right? Like that's not that bad. Um, so that just means 250 staters or less if I summer sloop this. Five a minute, that's fine. Um, circuit boards, same thing, 250. HMFs, I only need 50 done. Um, and computers, I only need 100, which is I can't do another 50, but that'll be done. Okay, so really, these aren't that bad. Like The, the total inputs is small enough where I'm just not that worried about it. So one, two, three. That does the other 50 computers. We already did the HMFs. And I need... How many circuit boards? 250. So there's... 200. I need 50 more. And then we'll grab some motors. There's more circuit boards. Uh, I forget how many motors I need. I did need a lot of rubber. The rubber might be the issue. Let me grab some of that now. Um... Okay, so another 50 circuit boards. So that should be all we need here. Get these powered up. Um. All right, that works. down to here. And then, uh-oh. Oh, we had a lot of versatile framework left over. That's interesting. Um, do I want to use that? Or, or keep it, I mean? I probably need it for something in the future, but I'll just sink it for now. Let me open up some inventory slots here. Trashy trash. Uh, what else can I trash? I need that rubber, otherwise I would trash it. Some sheets. Probably something else. Does that let me grab it all? It does, okay. 
All right, so off we go to our awesome sink chest we still have over here. Apparently, we're not powered up. Is that miner. Get me some more iron. All right, and then versatile framework. There we go. I already have 38 more coupons, goodness. I think I'm pretty close to having everything in the shop. Uh, that isn't like the expensive stuff that costs hundreds. Um, I might need another 50 or so to, to finish it out. Also, uh, CCTV, I am pretty worried about my power. I have a lot of batteries though. I think I have like 20 or 30 batteries. So, I'm not super worried about it quite yet, but it is a problem. I'm just hoping to be able to kick the can down the road long enough so that we can finish this first. Okay, I don't want straight, I want default here. More, more wavy. All right, so what are we doing? I need... Uh, not, not that. Uh, I need power for these assemblers. And... How much automated wiring did I need? 250. Okay. So for 250, I need 125 staters and 2,500 cable. All right, so we're gonna need another one of these feeding cable. Is that right? Goodness, that's a lot of cable. I guess it is. That's why they have an alternate recipe for that, is so you don't have to use five gajillion cable, I think. Um, I'm actually very poor in statters, staters, right now. Because I'm poor in pipes. I think pipes is the current. Hold up. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um. Maybe I should bump up my steel pipe production a bit. Oh, except I can't. I'm literally making as many as I possibly can. I guess I would need to switch recipes if I wanted more steel pipes, huh? Because right now I'm using all the steel. So maybe steel production is what we need more of? Aha! Nah, the real issue is iron. <laughs> iron ore and copper ore, apparently. All right, so if I go fetch some more iron, then we will have more steel pipes. Okay. So this is iron. We already have... Oh, wait, that's... All I'm doing is just these two? Oh, we have way more iron than that. I just need to bring it in and merge it. Um... Wait, now I'm doubly confused. We do have more iron here. This is just going the wrong way. LOL. I literally... Uh, oh, what was happening here? Okay, is this a splitter or a merger? That's a merger. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but we're rebuilding things here. This is going to be a splitter. That's connected to that. That goes to some dimensional depot stuff that I don't want to delete yet. And then this should be a merger. That's what we're gonna do with that. It looks fine. We'll hear no comments disagreeing. All right, and then that is now iron ore that goes on this belt. That 
should result in a full Mark IV. I think. Because these are already 300. Yeah. And then whatever I'm doing over here should be the rest of the rest of a belt. In fact, we could use the second layer of iron at this point. I do have two input belts for iron for a reason. Um... Let's try... yeah, let's try that. So... Iron's getting used right here, so I would then, from this point... Oh, right, because I use iron ingots to make, uh... Steel. We actually... Are... are we... Do we even have a full iron, full belt of iron here? How many smelters would make 480? Two makes... Well, I have sets of six. So a set of six makes 180 a minute. Two sets of six would be 360. 540 would be three sets. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we don't have a full full belt of iron ingots right now. So what we should notice then is that the iron ore is stopping up. Looks like it hasn't yet. The manifolds aren't full. Uh, what do I use to show messages on the screen? It's an app called Caster Labs that pulls Twitch and YouTube chat, pops them up on the screen. Yeah, this is still flowing full, but I think that's just because the smelters are not built up. Also, it's weird how many places you can aim. Look at this. I'm hitting E, I'm hitting E. Like, there's a lot of places you can aim right at the smelter that don't... Something's weird and it, like, doesn't pull up the configure smelter menu. Yeah, see, these still aren't full of iron is the problem. Um... That one's full, so that means this one will be filling up pretty fast. Okay. So we need more smelters or faster smelters. What did we say we're at? 360. So I only need 120 more, which is eight power shards worth. Okay, that's easy. Six. That. And two. So we just added 30 and 90. We just added 120. Yeah, okay. So there's a full belt done. Should be a completely saturated belt of iron ingots. And then how many foundries do we have going? Foundries are doing 40 and 40 to make 60. And I have one, two, or one, two, three, I have six, I think. So we could be getting 360 steel out, which is also not a full belt. So again, we could power shard some things. Add 120 more, would just be four power shards. And then that gets us saturated steel belt out, and it isn't using all the iron because we're using the solid steel ingot, which is great. <laughs> Salsa. Yeah, yeah, I just I just have my mods copy-paste. Uh, they just manually copy every single message. My stenographers. My copper is hurting a little bit. I don't know what's going on with that. Why is copper ore coming in so low? I thought we connected, like... Do I just have the one deposit coming in with copper? 
don't know what's going on here. There's another copper ore, like, right over there. So we can grab that if we need to. Is this the only one I have going? I also haven't power sharded it. There we go. That should help. It's still not 480, but it's probably enough. Uh, where's the nearest other copper? Oh, crap. Turned off. What does it call itself? Resources. There. Alright, yeah, to the north there's another normal. And then there's another normal way to the southeast. Yeah, we'll ignore that for now. But, uh, it's not quite a full belt. <laughs> I love that sound when you clonk into glass. Donk. Uh, that's very satisfying. Alright, so that helps a bit, that helps a bit. Oh, hello, Caterium. Um, all of that put together should be getting me more steel pipes. It also will be using more power, so our little baby power network is going to be even more sad. Uh, I should probably be a little more worried than I am right now. We're actually still okay. Batteries are charged. Look, we're not, we're not dead yet. Um, we are going to run out of biofuel at some point. Because it does look like it uses biofuel before batteries. <laughs> hey, brain damage is very satisfactory as far as fix it's concerned. Uh, I need to keep grabbing rubber. And I need to grab cable. And we're gonna finish out this stuff. Okay, what did we need here? This was the one with cable, a billion cable. Oh, and staters. I needed 125 staters and didn't have them. That's what started this whole mess, was needing 125 staters and not having enough steel pipes for that. Um, and because of how I organized this, still don't have enough staters. Uh, that's annoying. Um, I need the motors to back up, but that's going to be a while. So I guess what I could do is just decon that belt for a minute. Yeah, we're just using pipes everywhere. We're using pipes for HMFs, we're using pipes for encased industrial pipe, we're using pipes... I should really switch my pipe production downstairs to the molded steel pipe recipe. It would save me quite a bit of steel. We might do that at some point soon here. For now, I just need some staters. More than three, though. Oh well, that'll take a little bit. And while those are filling up, we can keep grabbing cable and rubber. Which one's this? Reinforced plates and rotors. I needed, what, like 250 smart plating or something? So that's easy. Um, rotors and rips. So that's 300 smart plating, which is... Oh, no, I needed 500 smart plating. Okay, so I can sloop this. And there we go, there's 600 smart plating. Um, rubber was seven and a half times 500. So basically 4,000, technically 3750. 
The rubber, we're gonna need to keep building up. I have it on the bus up here. I just need... Um, just need to put it in a storage container. So we'll do that real quick. Just for now. Make sure that builds up. And then... What else? Was, oh, cable. Let me go grab the cables. This copper factory, uh... You know, it really goes to show that you should build things right when you build them the first time. Which I only sort of did. I really should have built it better than this, and uh, I just haven't needed to deconstruct it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think uh, in my next playthrough, which who knows when that'll be, because Satisfactory, or Factorio Space Age is going to be coming soon, and that's going to knock Satisfactory off my playlist for a while. But that being said, in my next run someday, I do think I want to start out being more forward-minded, forward-thinking with what I do in the very early game. Like, basically, as soon as I have concrete and iron automated for foundations and walls, I think I want to start building basically sections of the factory that will keep feeding the future factory. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I would want to do it yet, but... Something like that. You want to stream, but OBS is not working. Yeah, that happens. OBS can be weird. Lots of difficult configuration errors. Streaming is just, you know, mostly technical difficulties until someday it happens to all work and it's very nice. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, but good luck getting it working, I guess. And what needed the rubber? Was it just this one? Yeah, yeah. Motors and rubber go here. Okay. So rubber... What was that? 1,600. So that was about half the rubber we need. And then motors, we need exactly 500. So that shouldn't be too bad. I already have the 500. I just need to pull them. I should probably go grab them manually. It's going to take a while. I think they're on this level over here. Yes, this is the motors. Alright, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That should be all we need. I already put in three stacks. Alright, so the motors. We're in this one, right? Did they already get eaten? Oh, I never actually put them in. Okay. Uh, so that should be 10 stacks. Or 11, even. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Modular engines. Getting made. Um, weirdly, I'm gonna need more because the very first craft doesn't get summer slooped. It's only making two right now. So if you do exaxes on summer slooping, I don't know if it will always work. And I think I did exaxes with circuit boards, so that means I'm going to need a few extra uh, computers as well. A few extra circuit boards. A few extra heavy modular frames once I have them. So staters, I'll just shove those in now. Said I needed 125, but it'll be a few more than that. And we are gonna do phase three, baby. Alright, that's still only 18. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's because all the pipes that end up making it this far are getting eaten by the rotor production. And the rotor production has to back up. It does take some time for manifolds to fill. Uh, summer slooping is when it's really hot outside and it's raining, 
but it's hot and it's the summer and you start, uh, you know, uh, when you're on the side of a mountain and there's all the water rushing down, you you just start sliding down the side of a mountain. We call that summer slooping. Uh, no, summer slooping is these things, the summer sloops. An odd alien mind-bending material. And when you put them in a building, they get you free stuff. It's pretty great. All right, we got all the cable we needed. So the only thing I'm lacking now is rubber and some staters. Is that right? I think. I think, I think. And once this is built, I'll put in another heavy modular frame to compensate for not getting enough. Alright, that should do it. Now, my power grid is uh, looking real bad right now. Maybe I should go build some more geothermals while we wait. But things should be working. I should probably shard up the automated wiring a little bit. I do need a few more staters and the rubber. Let me go grab the rubber. And is that enough? No, that's only another thousand. We did 1600 plus a thousand is 20. So I need another thousand. More like 1400-ish. But we're good on everything else. Oh, and I still need a few more staters. Like, 20. Is that 20? That's not 20. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go find some geotherm. And do I have what I need to build some geothermals? I need high-speed connectors. Otherwise, yes, I'm good. Oh yeah, there's a bunch over here. Or at least a normal and an impure, and then more behind it. Okay. So then I need some high speed connectors, which I think are made in this. Yeah. Let's. Those are like roughly the same thing. Let's use more power to uh, make stuff. I need. What was it? Quick wire? And silica? We have that. That. Um, here. All right. We'll make some high-speed connectors quickly. That's not that quick. Fifteen a minute. Jeez. I could handcraft it faster than that. I can do both. Oh, what? I'll make enough for like four. Hotfix just dropped. Ooh, what did they what did they hotfix? Is it anything I care about? A crash for conveyor belts? That's not something I've even run into yet. So no, I don't care to restart. That's a bummer. They didn't fix the the hard drive scanner or the the whooshing noise, the mysterious whooshing noise. Uh, maybe I'll wait till we have 75. What was the other recipe? The other one... Oh, okay. I am using that one. It uses a little less quick wire, but silica instead of cable. It uses like 12 silica instead of 10 cable. And about half the quick wire. Same amount of circuit boards. Alright, 67. I'll wait till we have 75. Shall we make it rain? My 
my favorite pastimes. Can you throw one up fast enough if you jump? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. If you jump while you throw it, reload. Do you have time to throw another one and then double rain? You can, fun. Nice. All right. Um, oh, perfect. Deconstruct you. Do we have enough rubber now? Not quite, so I'll have to come back anyway. So let's just move on to our geysers, which are to the east. To the northeast. Right? Yeah. All right, so this is where we want... Ah, I missed. Packaged liquid biofuel. And then we can go very far with this thing. This is where using the pulse nobelisks, nobelisks might be worth it, um, because the liquid biofuel gets you so much further that using your time, you know, to get the nobelisks set up would be more worth it, because one jump will take you a lot further. Look at how far we've gone, and we're still at like 30% of the jetpack fuel. It's crazy. All right, here we go. So, our geothermal. Oh, can't swim and build at the same time. Fine. Two. Wasn't there three here? I think there was three. Uh, that's a quartz node. Was there only two here? I just confused it. Oh, okay. There are only two here. Got it. Alright, then power... Next. I'm just gonna run away and hope those things can't catch up. Connect up to the base. Ooh, MLG. Didn't miss a shot. 100% accuracy. That's what we like to see. All right, so then these guys are going. This is only a 200 megawatt one on average. And the other one is a 400, I think, because it's a normal. Does it go 246? I'm not sure. Uh, either way, we will go to the other geysers now. Draw this away. And the trucks haven't deadlocked, by the way, in all the time since we redid all of it. So that's nice. Oh, look, we already have sulfur right here. This is where we're doing our sulfur mining. Completely forgot that. Uh, all right, geothermal. Can I see? Oh, this is the pure one. This is a... Uh, which part is the part that is the part I can look at? Hello? Is this not one? Oh, that isn't one. Weird. So there's a pure one. I guess I can just look at the map. There's two pure ones here. I swear it said there were three. The hell? What is purity temp? And it's acting like I've claimed it? What the heck? That's so weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, 
we'll just face it so the little power symbol thingy is this direction. I can hook it up here. This one is, okay, 400 is the average. And then the other one will give us another 400, but I need to handcraft 25 more. Or I could just build a manufacturer right here because I don't have that kind of quick wire. And Summer Sloopin, the alternate, is going to make that quick wire go further. So here we are. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, and let me grab the quick wire. It'd be really nice if there was like a Caterium vein right here and I could just handcraft some more quick wire. Maybe? No, not gonna happen. Eh, 700 meters. I guess I'll take some bacon while I'm here. I could, you know what I could do? I could just set up another fuel plant. The oil's right here. Well, right over there. Um, but again, I really want the blender before we do that because having the blender means that we can set it up to uh, more easily do the diluted fuel thing and that'll just be a lot easier. So I kind of want to wait for that. Just need 25 HSCs here. 15 more means 450 quick wire is what we're waiting for. Oof, that is gonna take a minute. Three, four, I think, actually we might be okay. We only need two more craftings, so. We might just get there. Also, there's a lot of sulfur here. And you need a lot of sulfur for turbo fuel. Is there coal nearby? This could be where we do the turbo fuel, when we do the turbo fuel. Oh, perfect. So there's sulfur here, coal here, and oil here. We can make our turbo fuel plant right here, because turbo fuel, if you don't remember, is compacted coal which is sulfur and coal. And so this will be the perfect place to do it. And then you make turbo fuel, which has an insane energy value of 2000 megajoules. So you can get 10 gigawatts off of one pipe. Mark one pipe can get you 10 gigawatts. 20 gigawatts from a Mark II pipe, if you're filling, filling the pipe at least. All right, we should be good. Deconstruct that. Geothermal gin. And there we go. Okay, we've achieved slightly more production than, than demand. Sort of, almost. It definitely is helping a lot. Geothermal's great. It just costs you nothing and is free power forever. So we're, we're still a little under the, under the weather here, but it's better than it was before. I certainly still need to improve my fuel plants. Um, and where's more geothermal? We already got these ones. Was there more over here that I saw? There's one out in the middle. Okay. Let's go get that one. Since I'm here. I'll only need 25 more HSCs. <laughs> OBS sucks. Uh, I disagree. OBS is kind of amazing. It's free, open source, and it does a lot of things. 
I'm imagining the fact that it doesn't work is due to issues that are probably not on. I mean, OBS has plenty of issues because it is open source, but I don't think it's fair to say that it sucks. Diagnosing issues can be hard, though. And I believe if it's not working, there are other free open source streaming solutions that one can use if you're looking for them. All right, so let's get this power connected to there. And then we need that manufacturer again to make our silica go a little further. Or not silica, uh, quick wire. Oh look, a Mercer Sphere. <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> Alright, now we need the quick wire. Is 240 enough? It's four craftings? No, that's only 16 HSCs. I have five already though. So we're gonna get there. Just about a minute here. Uh, Bordreau, I'm honestly not sure. I know there are other ones when I've done some research, but I don't remember the names of them. You'll have to do some research. But yeah, this is going to be the place for a turbo fuel factory, I'm pretty sure. Just having, having such easy access to sulfur and coal and a ton of oil. I mean, there's so much oil here. There's an impure, a normal... A pure, a pure, a normal, and a pure. So three pures, two normals, and an impure. It's crazy. There's so much oil here. So we will certainly, certainly get a lot of good use out of that. Ooh. I like how the part turned red hot. That's cool. Okay, I do need more quick wire. And we're gonna need like 30 more. Twenty-one more. I just have to watch paint dry here. So that counts up to twenty-one. Come on, baby. It's almost time to upgrade my dimensional depots. Um How far are we? I forget what the upgrades cost at this point. So the next tier of upgrades is 13 a piece. I could probably afford the next speed upgrade. All right, there we go. There's our high speed connectors. And one more geothermal plant coming right up. Sweet. All right, well that will help a lot. Uh, Cause this is another pure one. So that should be another 400 megawatts for free. And that should, yeah, that keeps us mostly above the curve here. Cool. All right, well, for those of you future YouTubians, I think we will call this an episode, and hopefully in the next episode we'll either be done with or mostly done with those phase 3 materials. Um, if you're here live, stick around, we're going to keep streaming, but for those of you in the future, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you all in the next episode.